Okay, I have some questions about how to do an offset for an image in Photoshop to use in Cricut Design Space, and specifically to add a white border to give a sticker look to an image. So I'm going to show you how to do that a couple of different ways depending on the image. So let's say you have a piece of art that's on a transparent background in a ping format like this one here. The first thing I'm going to do in Photoshop is I'm going to give it um, give myself a little bit of room to work. So I'm going to go to Canvas Size and I'm going to add some border to it. Uh, with this set at relative, uh, I just look at the size and decide I need a couple extra inches. So now this gives me some area here to work with. And then I'm going to double click on the Layers panel here. and that's going to open up my layer style window and I'm going to go down here to stroke and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change the color of my stroke to white and then I can use the slider to pick the width of my margin and you can see this changing over here as I as I move this when I get it how I want it. I also want to make sure this is on outside so it's not covering up my image. This means that the border is on the outside of the image. And then when I get this all set I can click OK. I can also determine a new style that goes to my styles window and then I can use this again anytime I want with just one click. So that's very useful and then I would save this to import into Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and save that. We want to save it in ping format again. I'm just going to save that to my desktop where we can find it easily later. And then I'm going to show you another way. Let's say the same image was a JPEG on a white background. So what we would do in this case is the same thing. We would add some padding around the outside so we have room for our border. This is done with the canvas size. And then we have to select our image. The easiest way to do this, for me anyway, because I'm not a Photoshop person, you may know a better way, is to click with the magic wand on the white and then shift click any other white to select the white and then go to select inverse basically select what's not white so now we have our just our image selected now I'm going to go to select modify expand and this is where I can pick the width of my margin so let's see what 20 pixels looks like and you'll see the marching ants kind of jump out from there Okay, so now I have a selection that's that's my image plus a margin of 20 pixels. So I'm now I'm going to copy that. Excuse me, edit, copy, and then I'm going to go to File New, and Photoshop automatically puts the size of the of what I just copied into these boxes so that's helpful and then I want to choose transparent for the background so I'm going to make a new transparent background to paste this into so now I just paste and you'll see that I have the image that I need with the white around it and I'm going to also save that in ping, ping format. All right, so I'll show you what it would look like if we import this into Design Space. So we would from Design Space, we would click on Upload Images. We would go to Basic Upload. 
we would browse and we just save wreath one to the desktop. The two that I just saved should be in the top. So we'll do the, the last one, wreath one. Click open. I'm just going to click simple image. Click continue. And you should be able to see here that there's no cleanup that needs to be done. I should be good to go. In this view you can see my cut lines are all nicely um, 20 pixels away from the image. I'm going to click make sure that this preserve original image is still checked. It's checked by default so I don't have to change that and click Save. And now I'll find it right here. Insert it on my mat. And I don't know whether you can see that, but it really looks nice. It's got a nice white border around it. It'll be a really nice look when you cut. I would need to size it so that it would fit in a print then cut and click go. You won't really be able to see the white border there against the white mat, but it's there. And that's all there is to preparing an image in Photoshop to give yourself a nice white border when doing a print and cut in Cricut Design Space. So I want to thank Troy for the tips on using the layer styles method for this. And hope you enjoyed watching this.